And the winter freeze causing headaches for Tesla drivers. Some worried their batteries will run out before they can charge them because of long lines. WGN's Dana Rebek gets some expert advice to keep things running smoothly. There are 20 superchargers at this station off Tui and Skokie, and they have all been full all day long with people waiting in line to charge up. In this brutal cold, batteries are taking much longer to do that, and they are draining much faster. At the Tesla supercharging station in Skokie, one driver grateful to finally be here. I saw that my battery's getting low. It was about 20, 25 percent. I uh, went out to the, uh, uh, the gas station that was there. I saw that there was a long line. West France then drove to the fashion outlet station in Rosemont, but it wasn't in service. And by that time, my battery drained down to 5%, which was faster than normal. Long story short, here I am. We had to tow it out this way. The sub-zero temperature is taking a toll on the electric batteries. This Uber driver frustrated. It's horrible. Um, it takes two hours. The wait, you might wait an hour. It takes two hours to charge. Then the charge leaves really quickly. So now you're back at the charger twice a day. So it, it's actually horrible. I'd read about it. I didn't realize the logistics of it and how hard it was. I, I figured, okay, I'd get the charger in at home and it would be fine, but it's it's it becoming a little more difficult than uh, what I expected. So. At the charging station in Rolling Meadows, several cars had to be towed last night because the batteries died while drivers were waiting in line to charge up. I think I had 30% when I went to bed and parked the car at like 8 or 9 o'clock. When I was woke up, it's at 16, so this cold is definitely sucks the power out of the batteries a little bit faster. Richard's Body Shop on Lawrence is a certified Tesla service center. The owner, who also drives a Tesla, has some tips for EV drivers. If you can park in a garage, clearly it's better to keep the car warm. It makes a huge difference. And then when you're going and you're going to go charge, you should let the navigation go in the navigation and say that you're going to charge it so the car can precondition the battery at all, except to charge a lot faster that way. He also suggests charging up before your battery gets below 30 percent. Drivers dealing with the headache, hoping the company can do something to improve battery life in brutally cold weather. I think it's a matter of time. But it's something you think they have to work on. Oh, they definitely got to work on it because I'm out of this test laptop today. I'm not going to ride it again. You'd rather go back to gas. I'd rather go back to gas, absolutely. We reached out to Tesla for comment, but so far the company has not responded. According to the Illinois Secretary of State's office, in 2018, only about 12,000 people in Illinois owned electric vehicles. Now that number has skyrocketed to more than 91,000. So a lot of people dealing with this issue right now. In Skokie, Dana Rebic, WGN News.